days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all oh, Asian candidates in the Institute Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Is that this a pop is art. Painting? You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, yeah. stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now, please return to your bed. Let's sleep in the bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, oh, God. You look um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now you've been under for quite a lot longer and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. Okay. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Oh, we're going to sleep. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. Uh, just, just got to get through here. I, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, no, I hear that one, I hear that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, alright? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Go. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. Don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Whoa. There we go. 
Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet, but um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best and I'll meet you up ahead. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Ooh, we are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks. Okay, let's see. Options. Keyboard and mouse. To emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Oh, face for no. That's a jungle in here. Cube and button based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. Let's put this cube and button based testing caused this emergency. Don't worry, the odds of this happening twice are very slim. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize the nice equipment time. that passes through. You don't have those dead matches. They did some work on this, but puppy. Very, 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 very nice. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation okay. grill may have emancipated your ear tubes inside your head. We got a cute thing. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Relaxation yeah, Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to reason. Oh. Level two. Hey! hey you, made you made it! There should be a oh. portal device on that podium over there. There's your bike. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Oh! Boom! Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? That's important, you've asked that first. Ooh, we got four of them. What I'm going to do, I'm going to work on the assumption you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Good. 
If you feel that a lethal military android oh, has not nice. respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Let's go down here. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Put it there. Level four. Great work. Great work. Because, because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing Level areas five. wherever a lack of shelter Just from space debris does miles. not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Oh, you got a cube. Let's go up this. This is cool, man. I really like how they did this. No, I'm not cooking up. You better be cooking or not. So how we do we get to do this? Okay. 
Cube. Do I have to do it again? There you go, there you go, I got the cube. Nice. Well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Oh. Okay, get rid of the face cam. Oh, there's phone cubes. How did I get this cube? I had to go from here. Oh. So men into him, he said. Oh, Yeehaw. There you go. Oh, you can get in there. How do we do this? <sighs> That's still satisfying. That's our starting area. How do we wait? How do we solve this? There gotta be a way. Oh, at least that's nice. Okay, don't face trapping. I don't want, I don't want face cam. How do we get in there? How do we get this? Oh, that's how you do it. There you go. Nice. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Okay, how do we... Oh, we have to... Oh, no, you can't see. Where's the orange portal? Get that face cam out of my hair. Okay, that's the blue thing.
grab this cube. Oh, where's the button? Hmm, how do I solve this? Okay, there you go. And that's sort of exodus, so... Good work getting this far, future starter. That says, if you are nice. small minded old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you. Please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Savage! <laughs> to ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. up there. There okay. you are. You did find a portal gun. Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Just pop a portal right behind me there, and come on through to the other side. Okay, how do I do it? Pop a little portal just there. All right, behind me. Come on through. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two, three. That's high. It's it's too high, isn't it? Really, that. All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me. I am not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah, and I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Uh, oh, there's. Um. Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Right. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Not open. While well, your back was turned. And off we go. Can I drop him? Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go! Oh, this is brilliant. You can go wherever you want. Hold on, though. Where are we going? Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. Oh, no. Yes! Hello! We're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. No, thanks. We're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving. Keep moving. speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. 
If you want to just call it quits, and we could just sit here forever, that's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. Okay, I'm going to leave my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. Got to speed. Don't touch me. Okay guys, this is the end of this episode of Portal 2. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, bye.